So good afternoon. I'm here with John Sterling from Bogota High School. Good afternoon, John. Hi, Leah. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for joining me for a virtual cup of coffee. Um, so, John, tell me, what do you teach? I'm a mathematics teacher awesome. at Bogota High School. Awesome. And how long have you been teaching for? I'm just finishing up my 39th year. Wow. Okay. And I think I was saying before, I think I don't think I've found anybody in my in this project who's been teaching for that long. So that's awesome. You're truly a veteran. And a big part of your uh, work is not just as a teacher, but as a teacher and a coach. Do you want to talk a little bit about that dynamic? Sure. You know, I, one of the reasons uh, that I got into teaching is, you know, my dad was an, an English teacher at Mawa High School for many years. And I saw how much he loved that. He was a coach, football and track coach. And that's what I always wanted to do. Yeah. Um, saw how much he enjoyed it. And I know he even said to me, you know, teachers don't make what other people can make in the private sector. Yeah. Are you sure you want to do this? And I, I was always sure, you know, yeah. and so I've never regretted it. I love it. I, the combination of being able to coach and teach is, I always tell people, I never feel like I'm even working. Yeah. You know, it's not a job. It's just the passion. Sure. Yeah. That's awesome. And, you know, you're saying that you're, you know, you demand a lot of your students, especially your AP stat students, and uh, they always rise to the challenge. You want to talk a little bit about that? Sure. You know, I found, um, I don't know if it's just my techniques of teaching or trying to be extra thorough, that I didn't feel the 44 minutes times five days a week was enough time to get all of my students ready for the AP exam. So each year I meet with the class in the previous spring, anybody who's interested in taking the course, and I tell them that there's an extra hour, three mornings a week required to take the course. So it's it's a, it's like kind of a voluntary mandated uh, directive on my part. They have to agree to it before I let them come in the class. And That's amazing. It allows them. Yeah, you know, because in New Jersey has a little disadvantage, as you know, with the AP exam. Sure. We start school so much later where schools throughout the country maybe have three weeks of extra, you know, teaching Absolutely. before and everybody takes the AP exam at the same time. So. I'm, I'm extremely blessed because the kids at Bogota are awesome. Uh, they come without complaining. Uh, you know, they might complain a little bit mm -hmm. while they're doing it, but uh, they come on time three days a week, all year long, uh, work really hard. Uh, so it's, it's a pleasure to work with kids like that. That's awesome. And obviously it's a testament to you because um, like any good teacher or coach, they want to be there. And um, for a kid to show up at school for a non-mandatory, mandatory class uh, an hour <laughs> early, it definitely says something about the teacher. So thank you for sharing that. Um, sure. You're, a, you're a, an amazing teacher, an amazing coach, um, and to Bogota, Bogota High School and the Bogota School District. Awesome. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Bogota has a, I said it's a great community. The parents are supportive. The kids are awesome. We have great administrators, a board of education that all wants to collectively work for the, the good of the students. So, uh, you know, I, I said I'm going to go at least another seven years of teaching and to make my decision. But after this COVID uh, kind of quarantine has come up, I might even go longer than that because I really miss the kids and miss yeah. doing what I get to do. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, they're lucky to have you. And thank you for spending the afternoon some time with me.